Hello and welcome back to Long War 2 Season 1. Let's take a look here. What do we got going on? Oh, that's right. Side training just got done. So let's take a look at what we can do for our two psyops that are eligible for training. Okay, so Barbosa can get Mind Merge, Solace or Stasis, and Roach can get Soulfire, Solace or Fuse. Huh. 18 days for Fuse. Wow. Huh. Okay. Well, let's have Barbosa do Stasis then. Check out the regional stuff here real quick. Okay, so I've done some more reading, and as I understand it, since we have this region liberated, uh, we really shouldn't, I guess, be doing operations in West Africa. It's just going to make things, it's just going to exacerbate the advent strength problem. So we really should be doing stuff like in, either in South Africa or in a completely different area. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt, uh, I think, I'm going to give it an, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and attempt that um, supply raid. I don't know, part of me says that maybe I shouldn't. Well, here, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so, let's go back out to the Geoscape. We've got this supply raid right here. Operation Spider Wheel. But maybe... we shouldn't do it. Maybe we should let it go. I mean, Advent Shrink's already at 11. I mean, you know, it's like ugly times here already. Maybe we shouldn't do it, though. Maybe we should let it go, and instead redeploy to Operation Dragon Hand and take, like, a really, like, you know, badass group to that. That might be the better way to go. Yeah, because when I look at what I've done here, <laughs> I might be overestimating, because we've got Bear, we've got Spec, we've got Lee, and we've got Dot with Anne backing him up. That yeah, that might I might have been being a little bit overzealous about the strength of the of the snipers. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm gonna you know what? I'm gonna give this a little bit of thought. I'll be back with you right after the uh, the little mal thingy, and then uh, <laughs> we'll jump into one of these missions. See you in a sec. Copy that, Central. Copy that. Okay, so I've been before I engaged in this mission actually and came up with the whole basically uh, redo, right? Because I <laughs> stopped the supply raid mission, brought them back, and then redeployed to the same mission. Before I did that, I think I mentioned in the, the opener that I did some, some reading and I was kind of strategizing about what I wanted to do. And obviously, we want to take advantage of high ground, so we'll check that in just a second. But the other was that, since positioning is so key, I'm going to take some extra time to scout out and set up before we do anything. So what I may do after we move around, I'm going to take Jackal out, we're going to use some battle scanners, and we're going to really scope it out. Um, then I might relocate the team, so I might make a cut in the video when I do that. We'll see. Um, but it's going to be a long mission. We, we know that, right? Swarming... I don't know how many, I don't, I don't know, 35, 40, who knows how many enemies there are, but it's going to take a long time. So I'm going to be up front with you, like I always am, like I put it in the, the mission titles and everything, whether, it, you know, if it's going to be like a multi-part mission, and some people, for whatever reason, that really just seems to chap them, because they're like, I'm going to dislike it, and it's like, so if you want to do that, go ahead and, you know, hit that now, because it'll probably be multi-part, and I wanted to mention that, because, and I have in the past, if an if a episode's going to be like 45 minutes, or longer, that's generally when I split it in half, and the reason for that is because it just gets too cumbersome to 
to render it. It takes so long to upload and process and all that. So that's the rationale. Um, if it's going to be less than 45 minutes long, then I, I'll, I'll post it. And that's a pretty long video, actually, in itself. So if you just were curious. Okay, so let's see. What do we got? Okay, we've got a group there. Um, hmm. You know what? I, yeah, I'm going to use battle scanners to do this instead of using Jackal to scout, because if I move up, depending on where this group goes, he may be in a position to not be able to continue to move, and I want him to be able to, so okay. we're going to slide over here. And let's take a closer look. Where was that group? Right there? All right, let's try right here. Well, hmm. Let's actually go to the fog. Uh-huh, okay. All right, so there's two groups here. Actually, is that one group and then is there another one here? Or is that guy part of this group? Okay, so we've got group here, group here, and possibly a third group here. Got some high ground that we can use. Well, actually, technically, we're on the high ground already. This actually isn't good. This is actually a pretty bad spawn. Yeah, this is not idyllic at all. Okay, so we'll, we'll come back to that whole we're going to reposition thing here in a minute. Because I don't think I want to engage up here. The other thing I wanted to mention is I've been a little bit more vocal about... Um, comments and whatnot recently, and so I've been thinking about that a lot the last couple of days. The community as a whole, but especially when I'm playing uh, XCOM or Long War, I'm playing this with people I, I, I you know, I've really gotten to know, and um, I think I've explained before, it's a very personal experience for me. And so I, I, I get, I get a little, maybe a little too defensive or what have you, but let's let's also bear in mind that there are comments some of you don't see because I just get rid of them and there's been quite a few where people are just they're not trying to give advice they're being pricks and anytime you go to write a comment yourself and you think it's borderline then then just give it some extra thought and I, I'm fine with feedback and ideas I always have been I welcome that but I'm gonna have fun and I want everybody else to have fun and I'm just not putting up with any nonsense anymore okay and that's the last I'm gonna mention of it and uh, going forward, I'll just, you know, handle it. I've got tools to do that, and I, I will. Um, but I just wanted to hopefully put that to bed. Okay, so let's see. Jackal, you, you could still move, yeah? No, you threw the battle scanner. All right. Okay, so what's here? Mm, there's just looks like a structure. Where's the zone wall? Right here? And we can't get up here. It looks like there's some cover back over here we could maybe use. Now this could work. We could bring the team back over here. Yeah, we could maybe make that work. Alright, let's 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 move that away, actually. I know this looks odd, but All right. I've been let's thinking move. about this a lot. I th and I think this is the this is the ticket. Make sure we can take advantage on it. of our snipers for starters, which we can't do if we're engaging on okay. the high ground with the enemy. That's not going to work for us. Like a house. So if it looks like it's going to take 50 years for me to get into a decent position, like I said, I'll make a cut. But no need to ask twice. I'll go a couple turns with you guys with me. Double time. Just because I think it's interesting whether or not we get caught right away or not. Okay, now hopefully they're far enough back and visibility's not an issue. The whole enemy knowing where you're at when you're concealed thing, that, that was... If that was supposed to be fixed in 1.2, I assure you it has not been. Same thing with Overwatch. Yeah. I mean, like, if you've got some overwatches set up and then moving would expose you and then your overwatches would go off, they very rarely will will do that. Okay. Did they just completely move back? Uh, okay. Affirmative. Moving Jaden, go take a look for us. We've got a hostile squad here. They just moved to the side. Oh, an Archon. Okay. 
Nagas. See, that's the problem. Not Archon, whatever, but the Nagas. Anything with explosives and anything that's got squad sight is problematic. Okay, so there is a structure down there, which doesn't do us doesn't do us a whole lot of good. Hmm. Okay, let let's move. On the move. Like so, make sure this is clear. Yeah, it is. Okay. Slide across. <sighs> Lee, how far can you go, buddy? Yeah, that looks good. Go back there. Now, that won't count as high ground against these guys that are right here, because it's just one level up. One level up won't do it. So, like, that's not high enough if we wanted to fire on these guys over here. No. I learned that the hard way on a different mission. So, is that cover or not? Eh. I'm on it. All right, well, we'll just go like this then. Overwatch. Empress. So that's covered, but that's not. Okay, well. I'm on the move. That's more than a little bit weird. Scanning. That's not covered, but that's covered. Oops. No need to ask twice. Dash up there. Spec. Gotta well, I guess right there for now. Dot. Yeah, there's like no good place to put you. Copy that. I guess right back there. You don't really have cover, but. I guess until we're exposed, it doesn't matter. We need them to come to us. I don't mean right now. Okay, see, they hear you. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to fight them. I'm not fighting them up here. I'm not going to do it. And see, they're very close now. See, the AI is trying to force engagement up here. I, I mean, that's pretty obvious. And we can still move away, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so there's the structure down there. We've got some more full cover over here. We can we could set the snipers up over here. Where's the zone wall? There it is right there, huh? Okay. Ideally, we could set up our snipers, like, over here. Like this point and this point, and maybe back here. Set the team up in that structure and then draw things to us. That's the best. How come we can see that guy? Yeah, that's weird. That's probably the best bet. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a quick, I'll make a quick cut. And then when we come back in three, we should be set up and ready to engage. All right, so I'll see you in just a sec. Okay, folks, so we're back. Now, let me explain what happened. First off, the whole them knowing where you are when you're concealed thing, I guess it's kind of been changed in 1.2. I don't know. It does seem like they do know where you're at, though. Um, and they shouldn't. They sh if you're completely concealed, I mean, I guess the alert level has part of it to do, like if they suspect you're in the area, but I don't know. It still seems a little wonky because what happened was we were over here. And I moved the group. It took it took a couple turns, actually, to kind of get them down towards the end of this mountain face. And I had to hug, basically hug the zone wall. And that group that was up here, the one with the Archon, it basically followed us to, like, right about this point here. And then it finally turned around, because I guess it does have a patrol path that it has to stick to at some point. So it finally turned around and went back. But we were kind of running out of space. Like, if it had come any further... We probably would have had to go loud, which would have been unfortunate because we wouldn't have been able to get in position. However, that didn't happen. So we were able to get in position and it's pretty sweet. So here's what I've done. I've got um, 
I've got Red and Rodos on the low ground. We're going to take on this group over here first. That's what we're going to go loud with. So we've got the ability to do suppression. We've got the ability to do sting grenades because she did get that on her last promotion. We got Jackal down here to spot for us. We got Freud down here. Uh, if we want to do like a rocket or move up and do some flame action. We've got all three snipers with visibility to the targets. Um, I've got Clutch up here to provide support as well as Empress. Uh, we got Coops on the high ground who can either fire or suppress. So I'm feeling pretty good about where we're at, but have no illusions. This is a swarming, basically not infiltrated um, mission. So my guess is, I don't, I don't even know, 35, 40 enemies, something like that. So even if we just totally crush this first group, it's going to take us a bit to gnaw through everything here. Okay. Now the question is, how do we want to open this? Yeah, how do we want to open this? Well, we could open with... Let me double check range. We could open up with a sting grenade. Because we could hit practically that whole group. That's that's probably our best bet, actually. Yeah, let's go for that. And let me set some overwatches while I'm at it. Well, actually, are we even gonna try? Are they even gonna trigger them? Yeah, they should. All right, Overwatch. I'm on it. Let's slide Clutch over here. He can Overwatch too. Consider that practice. Yep. Empress. Let's location. actually put you down there. Overwatch. Overwatch. Okay, now I did steady weapon with the snipers last turn and with Freud, so I think we're good to go. Alright. Sting grenade out. Come on. Oh, come on now. We had it. Do we have them all over there? Okay, there we go. Flash out. She stunned all of them, pretty much. <laughs> okay. That was pretty awesome. She stunned all but one, I think. Wow. Let's move up with... Let's move up with Freud, even if it... Even if we end up with another pod, I just gotta see whether or not we could flame all these guys, because that would be so sweet. Look at that. Wow, that's just a thing of beauty right there. And how many can we set ablaze? Like five of them? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we need to get rid of... Tell me we can see... Yeah, we can see this guy. Okay, we need to get rid of you. Oh, so pretty. All right, there we go, and steady weapon. Okay, oh, Lee, you don't have a target? Okay, well, that's fine. Steady weapon, then. Are the rest of them unconscious? Yeah, I think they are. Okay, well, I guess kill that guy. Hey, that's something else I've been meaning to ask you uh, folks. So, um, as far as grenadiers, as they particularly on higher difficulty levels, Commander and Legend, uh, the damage dealing Grenadier, I don't know, maybe with improved grenades, because I haven't, I don't really have those yet, um, and maybe with, you know, biggest booms and tandem warheads, all that, maybe they're really, really strong, and I just don't know, but, and remember that my memory is not all that great, so when you respond to this, if you could kind of just say, hey, with regards to the Grenadier, grenadier question, which one's better? Because, I mean, obviously we just got like an awesome Stingrenade off and 
stunning that many at once doesn't always happen, but that was badass. And I can't imagine that the damage dealing Grenadier is better in like the late game. Maybe it is coupled with snipers that have cereal. I don't know. Like you weaken them and then sweep them up with cereal and that's worth it. But let me know because I'm curious because right now I'm kind of thinking I'm planning for season two and I'm thinking, man, Grenadiers with sting grenades are where it's at. Like it doesn't even seem like it makes sense to to even think about using something else other than that. But if it does, let's do this. You know, let me know. Can we do Iron Curtain from here? Nah, it's too far away. All right, Overwatch. Affirmative, covering now. And Overwatch. Steady weapon. Burn a nation, burn all the things. That was so sweet. Okay, sounds like we got a mech inbound. I heard some clumpy clumpy. No? Okay. I also heard some snake stuff. I bet you that other group's gonna pop up over here. Let's assume that they're going to. Tired of waiting around. Yep. Yep, let's reposition. Make sure everyone's got some cover from that angle. Okay, everyone. Weapons at the ready. Scanning. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Shield bearer. No. No. Rocketeer. No. You can't see the shield bearer, is that the deal? Alright, well, light up the silencer then. Nice! Oh, 15 crit! Wow, that was sexy. Alright, let's go upstairs. You can see the shield bearer. Nice, let's get rid of him. I mean, I'll probably burn to death, but... Let's just help him along his way to shuffle off this mortal coral. Nice shot. Steady weapon. I mean, we can hit him with the flamethrower again, but it kind of seems like a waste. As does you not having a shot. Let's relocate you. Rolling yeah, out. put you over there, Lee. Move you back a little bit. Overwatch. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with my decision to relocate now. It was kind of, it was it was it was a pain. It took like an extra ten minutes to get everybody set up, but I feel a lot more comfortable with our chances now than what they were. Still burning. Nice. Okay, Mutan. I really thought it was gonna be a mech. Oh, Naga. Okay, that Naga. Those Nagas have got to die. Those got to be first up. Good shot. Man, every mission she gets she gets it hurt. Like every single time. Never fails. Shot failed to connect. Okay, let's let's get you well, I guess you could stay there, we could heal you. And then maybe reposition you like over here and have you hunker down. Or Actually, what might be better, let's move you back here like this. And let's do Steady Weapon, because we might use a rocket next turn. Let's get you a heal. heal him up. Poor Freud. It's just like a bullet magnet. Right? Every single thing. Every time. But she lives. She's tough. Hey, let's get her aid protocol. 
There we go. And then... Jaden, let's move you... Let's move you around the other side. Moving to designated position. Yeah, there we go. So now you got eyeballs on. We're going to move back. Steady weapon. Mm-hmm. And back. Whatever you say. I want to make sure everybody's behind full cover because of those Nagas. Thirty-eight percent chance, huh? Oh, yeah, he's hunkered. All right, we'll take the scout then. Nice. Good shot. I want to move here, but I'm so worried about another group popping up and then flanking us. Alright, let's just suppress this guy. And Overwatch. And Overwatch. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Let's move already. And the other groups can activate, right? Yeah, here it comes. Here it comes. Did you just run into that fire? Hello, Mutan. Nice shot. Nice shot. Uh, he's been, they're benefiting from that smoke. Well, that can't be helped. Okay, nine active, seven killed. All right, so let's get rid of... Oh. Oh, we could do that action, huh? But is that actually going to hurt anyone? Yeah, nobody's really next to it, so no is the answer to that. Lee, what, what shots do you have? Nothing? Alright, relocate. No Spec, you don't have a shot either? Really? Alright, well. Take him. Nope, not quite enough. It was a graze. Got rid of the suppression, so that was good. Uh, Clutch, can you maybe walk fire that guy down? What's your regular shot against him? 43. Alright, take that shot. You might get lucky. Oh, and that's why we call him Clutch. I'll send you there myself. <laughs> okay, so let's Overwatch. Let's gun and run this guy. Yeah. Moving to fire position. Very pretty. Enemy destroyed. They've got mm -hmm. eyes on me. And then Moving on target Let's go back over here and take that corner. <laughs> you know what? Let's... Well, actually, hold on. Will Iron Curtain work? Yeah, we can hit a few of them with it. People have been encouraging me to use this. Special Shot does low damage but reduces enemy mobility for two turns. 
All right, let's go for it. Okay, I would say that was pretty effective. And let's area suppress the rest of them. Let's reload first. We get a bunch of reaction shots, hopefully. Okay, those are the only three active. Alright, free reload. Nice shot, nice shot, Red. Okay, let's move up. Any weapon. Alright, so far so good, but we absolutely do not want to get overconfident. Okay, next contestants. Oh, that was nice. Good shot. Grappled her, but that's okay. We'll get her out of there. As long as this advanced trooper doesn't put her down, we'll be okay. We missed. Okay, good, good. Alright, so step one, we gotta get her out of there. Lee, do you have that shot? You do. Take it. Nice job. You know that was good. Okay, steady weapon. And is anyone on Overwatch? Doesn't look like it. Okay, hold on. If I can clear her flank, I might get that loot. Anybody got a shot on that guy over there? Oh, Jaden should be able to do it. Moving out. Hmm. What about flesh? That was enough. Enemy's down. So what we could do is go here and then run back to there. Yeah. Van suppressor. Okay. Nice. Oh my. Okay. Big group. Big group. Or two groups. I don't know. I guess that's one group. Whatever it is, it's ugly. Ah, it's two groups. Okay. Oh my. I did flamethrower right here. I'd get these two guys. I'd get... Looks like I'd get three, maybe? No, just two. But it would give her smoke. Fire. Yeah, let's let's do that. If, no, if nothing else, for the defense part of it. And yeah, that means the shield bearer gets it too, but... We can take care of that. Should have taken that shot first, but hey, it is what it is. Should get that other loot. There we go. PCS iron skin. Nice. Okay, and then... Steady weapon. Give her aid protocol, then we're gonna try to shut down the drone. You got Trojan, right? Uh, you got failsafe. Oh, you don't have Trojan yet, huh? Okay, well. Let's get it. Let's 
Actually, somebody's carrying... Somebody's actually carrying red screen rounds, but I don't know... Let's go for control, and if not, we'll just kill it. Cause it'd be... well, yeah, that's what I thought. Dang it. Nice, nice, good job. Not stopping us now. Okay, Overwatch. Reload. Okay, let's move red up a little bit. I'm trusting you here. So we use some sting grenades liberally here. Bunker. That's a lot of targets. Okay, who's closest? Actually, hold on. Where are those Nagas? Yeah, let's put some work in on those. <laughs> nice. Okay, and then Coops. Do I want to leave you where you're at? I think it's okay this turn. Guy comes over here. Ah, it's a little sketch, actually. Finally. Let's move over here. Just out of an abundance of caution. Killed 19, but there's 17 active. This mission is no joke. Yeah, Shield Bear's gonna do his thing. What I'll do is I'll reconceal uh, Jaden, or I'll use a battle scanner to get us more visibility so that we can take him out. Because yeah, he needs to die. He's like right over here somewhere. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. Oh, man, I hope... I hope you don't launch a grenade on her. Okay. They usually don't on single targets. Okay, we gotta get rid of the other Naga. That's the priority target. And the um, shield bearer, because we gotta get rid of all these shields. Then I guess to a lesser degree, the, uh, the Archon. And I'm thinking we're what? Maybe halfway through? That's my guess. Whew. Yeah, There's still a lot of people to kill here. But we've got... We do have great positioning, so... We just gotta make the best of it. Okay, good. The Naga missed. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do is if this turn ever gets done. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. No, no, no! Now, I said at the beginning this was going to be a multi-part mission. And that gives me an opportunity to take a little bit of a break, because this is stressful. Kind of plan out my next moves, and then I'll come back, you know, in a couple hours and I'll pick up. Well, for you, it won't, it won't be, but for me. Um, but I hope that you've enjoyed this so far. If you get some ideas or feedback, there's a chance I actually won't. Um, get to record this second part until uh, tomorrow. So if you get some ideas about this mission, let me know. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Mal, and I'll see you later.